This is the spectacle of all spectacles. 2023 Red Bull Rampage. Okay, the score's coming in. He was in 14th. What is the score going to be now? Oh! Talos Turk into fourth place just outside the podium. Hey, this kid is here to stay. I dreamt of being in Rampage like I'd say 14, 15 I think in high school and you know, we'd all get together and watch on the screen and like the idea was always spark people would kind of mention to me like hey like you thought about doing that? You know that dream came to life this year which was really cool so got to experience that and tick that one off the bucket list. You know, when I moved here last year, that really did help me just get used to the terrain and like actually just living here and riding it every day just made it feel like another day filming with my, my buddies or riding, having fun and had a full line to ride down, so. Having a painted bike for this event, was it was surreal. Being able to represent my, my Japanese heritage and having my grandma pick the frame was something that was meant to be and like, you know, seeing it in person was just like, it was crazy. I chose Ryan McNulty and Hayden Zablotny as my diggers, and they were both alternates for Rampage this year. So it was a little dicey. That's what I mainly wanted, a dig team. Really good riders so that we all can think the same if we were going to hit that feature. Hayden, Ryan, and I, we all live together now, and we go out and ride every day. We dig all the time, and it's like another day in the desert. Yeah. Oh. oh, God. Kind of got a big mountain section where you're just creeping on the brakes and hugging the hillside. And it's a lot of exposure on the right, like a probably near a good 60 foot cliff. But yeah, I'm stoked on it. It's like pretty much what I'd want for my first year here. So, not day one. We done. This is the shit show. Woo! <laughs> Plan for today is to stack some sandbags to start a base for the second drop um, landing. And we're gonna stack sandbags, stack rocks, and then make the bench a bit wider. Yeah, we're just cutting to the wall and stacking bags right now. Silva's dig team and I have been cruising through this thing, stacking bags, stacking rock, filling an insane amount of dirt in this ridge. It's no longer a ridge actually, so it's just a highway of dirt, but I'm stoked to have it finished. And this is a key part of the line to carry some flow and rhythm through uh, the, the ridge section. We're gonna do this landing, big old berm. Now we're going to the step down spot. Destroy it, fix it. Um, yeah, so we're here at the trick jump to the El Nino drop, and Kurt's guys behind me working on it. And we got um, Alex Volkov's team on the landing. This is kind of the last build for today and for the week. Stoked to 
start getting some practice days in next week. Just be ready to go for next Monday, so. Gia. Damn, Sky looks sick as fuck this morning. <laughs> Ready, zoom in on that fucker. Look at that thing. <laughs> um, it's been, a, been around. I don't think I, I tie my shoes that well, so they rub. But I always have holes in my socks. It's for, say, it's for good luck. First day of practice was just like, kind of tick off some of the more riding sections, I'd say, like less trickable features, just kind of ride down the line, feel things out, get comfortable, and then like, you know, it's kind of like the first time you ride something, and the second time you come back to it, it's always gonna be easier, so. All right, well, I kinda wanna go up. I don't know, if, if the W's still dot, might as well keep going. Get a little scared. Looks super fun. And like that step down to me is almost blinder than the one I'm about to hit over here. So step down. Oh well, yeah, it was more of a step down than a drop, but these are both drops and they look perfect. Just Sweet. creepers, chill speed, nice brake control, and we'll be good. I like road first day, just like top section of the line. And now uh, we're kind of just finishing like filter features and minor tweaks. Probably tomorrow I'll try to do like a full top to bottom on the line, maybe like make some changes to some lips so it can match some tricks better. But yeah, no, I'm stoked on where we're at and like, it's been so mellow. It's been chilling, some homies have been rolling in. Um, fans been cooking us dinner, you know. But yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna try to do a full top to bottom. I'm stoked, it should be good to, to go by, by Friday. So we're stoked. Um, today is day six, I believe. Second day of practice. Just trying to get everything ready for Talos to ride so he can get as much time on the, on the line as possible and be feeling as good as possible. So we can do everything we can to make that happen. It's a little breezy right now. This is super dope when you like pad up and it's far away to go get your normal shoes. <laughs> It's all tail, but like, oh, I don't know. Could just hit it, but then we're just gonna go straight, and that's all we're gonna do. Or a backflip. It's all back. Like we gotta go straight. It felt like it was coming this way. The day I want to hit the step down, like another day hitting another, another drop, and uh, I hit that thing like maybe three, four times just as a drop before we put a lip on it, and literally I was feeling so comfy on it. Um, bike felt good, I felt good, and like then I felt ambitious, and I was like, all right, let's put a lip on it because um, you know I want to just know what it feels like with a lip. And for me, I like to hit a lip straight before I do oh, yeah. anything on it. You know, some people just like to hit a drop, throw a lip on it, and then like flip it or do their thing they wanted to, but I like to just feel it like a normal jump. All right, big guy, let's get you to the top. I knew what I wanted to do, I just want to hit it. Hit the jump right before it perfectly, and I think I braked a few too many times, but it was still good speed. And then I, you know, squished into the lip, pop. Whole full body compressed in the ground and like head was wrong, but I wasn't seeing stars. I was just like so much compression. I just was like, wow, that was painful. What knocked the wind out of me too, but. I felt like a hair slow, yeah. but like, I literally got blown ass. That definitely took a little toll on my mental state, but like I didn't try to let it get to me. It was more just like I could keep riding, but everything just felt sore and like everyone was just telling me, I think it's time to chill. And I was like, yeah, and like the wind picked up. It was just like, you know, like right time, but like, you know, you never can know the right time is with the wind. So um, I just decided to call the day and like this head was just so 
smoked. My whole body was, and like driving back was just terrible. I just felt like sh shit. I just felt so bad. Oh, we got some coffee this morning, JP. That's good stuff. You betcha. Some We're excited. Coffee. Motherfucking Thursday. Day before finals. Where do you want to go? Up. Uh, let's just do. I feel like I should hit this drop again, and then I'll do a top to bottom. I remember going out there that morning when, after my crash, I was like, now it's good. thinking about it. I just my headspace is like, you're gonna hit the step down and you're gonna hit it. That is not like you're gonna flip it. It's like if the conditions are good, you're gonna flip it. But if it was windy or anything, you're not even hitting it. Yes. So much stress was relieved off my shoulders once I hit the lip the first time, just as a straighter. I was like, oh my, that's so good. And then, and I don't know why, but it felt so good. I was like, I'm just gonna do it right now. First run, like, cruised in from the, this time I didn't hit the jump. I just decided to cruise in from the landing like I originally did when I first hit the drop. Cruised in, you know, a few brake taps before the roller and then just like let off and like set it, the flip, and it was just like, felt perfect. <laughs> I was like, all right, I'm gonna do it again just to make sure it's like, you know, locked in. And so then I did it a second time and it was just like perfect. So I was like super stoked after that went by. I was like, damn, that's like the big smooth that I needed. And like everyone, I could just feel the vibe from everyone. And everyone's like, I think we're good for today. Money. That's money. Bro, that's gonna be so dialed. That was so needed though, dude. Now we've just ticked off this section to that one. Upper section is just gonna be like cruisy. Oh, the fucking girlfriend clip. <laughs> just trying to get stuff ready for the morning. Just soaking stuff right now, so can sit overnight, and then we can use less water tomorrow. So, yeah, fucking last night, time went by so fast. I can't believe it's over already. It's not over yet, but fuck, it's close. Thanks, guys. That was a hell of a sunset session, man. Killers. Uh, look good. Fun. Cruising. Yeah. Still warm. All right, man. I think it was 4.30 we woke up for finals. Oh, it's painful. That full rantage. Real bones. 23. I wasn't thinking too much of it. I was like, damn, it's crazy that this is the day. Like, there was so much hype just for this day, and now it's here, and it's like, we're done. I don't even know. Like you're good, you're good. Never you're good. yell at me if it's like bra. Yeah, I will, dude. If it's not like this, I'm gonna yell. If there's a slight breeze, I'm gonna yell. Win, windy, windy. I didn't get to hit my big drop. It was too windy, so I knew what I had to do. I already knew how to flip it, so I was like, all right, just get the speed right. The the gusts are so. Maybe I try the trick jump. I'm I'm fired up for some tricky. Yeah, some jump.
I'm thinking I'm dialed. Yeah. I don't know. I don't even know. Maybe I'll hit a jump again. Bottom, I think I'm just going to cruise the last two because they're kind of like high. Yeah. So. Yeah. Again, go. Ride the last two pretty mellow and then, you know, obviously my flip super on the trick jump and then. Pack. So it's nice knowing I've done the flip already. Like, I rode the tops morning. Like, I'm fucking stoked. I'm just like, oh, see my, like. You bring it'll be cool to actually link it top box. I haven't done that yet, so it'll be the first time. <laughs> Once we're mid road or like mid range, I'll be like, yeah, sick, and then cruise into what we've already done a bunch, and then then finish it off. So sick. Yeah. You still can doubt this, dude. Yeah. It's not, you, you've done it twice. I'm like, sick. It'll be mellow eyes, and there will be people up there. I'm just gonna like look at the wind socks too when you're dropping. Welcome again to uh, 22 years of doing this event. Um, I want to keep this short and sweet. Uh, I want to get you guys up there. We've talked a lot about getting... The finals just came in so fast. Like We had a little group meeting with the riders and with Todd Barber. And it was go time. Let us leave. Let us. Let us go have some salon. Looking good out there, G. Thank you, man. Yeah. I'm uh, excited. We got the slope boys here. Tommy mm -hmm. Lewis walked up. I remember I think two riders went, and they were just like pumping them out, like just one after the other. And I was just like, whoa, like it's going so fast. And then like, it was my turn. Mountain bike style. Oh, yeah. That feels money. You ready, buddy? Yeah, let's get it. Rider number 16. Talent is in charge. Three. I was going a little too fast. Went like 10 feet deeper than I did in my first flip. Feet blew off, chain blew off. Decided to pull out. You know, had a bit of funny commentary in there. Just knew I was like, all right, I'm gonna go for a second round. I already knew that I was I was gonna do that. And I remember like at the top, like setting for a one foot can, just like practicing on the ground. I was like, and my headspace at the top was like, just flip it again and like. I don't know what's gonna happen, but just think flip and then whatever will happen will happen. So money, man. Ready, man? Yeah, let's get it. Right, rookie. Go get it. <laughs> Rider number 16, Talis Turk. Three, two, one. It's mic'd up. Came into it and I was just like, nerves were all gone. It was just like, they were gone. I was chilling. I just felt like so chill. It was just like, oh, you're cruising right now. came around and then like it was greased, checked my chain, I was like, oh we're good. The restaurant I knew was gonna be fine and like I just cruised into that super flip and I was like, oh my god, we're just like this is all day. <laughs> Huge move, stepping it 
up a notch. He tricked himself into not feeling the pressure of Red Bull Rampage. Like so sick seeing everyone there and like the family hugging everyone. That was just like big relief, just stoked. And I was just like, wow, that went, that went well. So actually finishing a finals run like in the biggest stage of the sport was like such a good feeling. I was just like, damn, like, I got to like look back at it, be stoked on it and like really wouldn't change much. Waiting that finish crowd, I was just like, this is so sick. Like I didn't even, I didn't even know when the score was coming and then like, People were like, dude, dude, your score's coming in. And I was like, what? And like, looked around the corner, didn't even see what it was. And then people were just like stoked, screaming. And then like, hear the, hear the audio from Tyler McCall. And like, an 84. I was like, damn, that's crazy. Like, an 84 was like super surprising to me. And like, getting into fifth place. You know, I was in fourth and like, I was just like, whoa, this is wild. Like, after a bunch of riders have come down and like, you know, there's only like a few left and like, um, and to put it in that spot, I was just like, wow, that was, that was And a rookie crazy. to the Red Bull Rampage crowd, 84 today, here for Tellus Turn. Really surreal standing on the podium with like all of these legends. I think I'm standing like to my left, like Tom and Seaver, to the right, like Kyle Strain and like Cam Zink, Carson Emil, and like, kind of felt like out of place being up there, but it was a really weird feeling just like standing next to all those dudes. I just felt like really small, you know, first time, blowing out champagne for me, so that was a good experience, and figuring that out, and that, that champagne tastes really good too. I should have not known in the crib dreaming about near jets and coops the way salt shoots and how to sell records like snoop i'm interrupted by a doorbell 352 who the hell is this i get up quick cops my shit stop the dogs from barking then proceed to walking it's a face that I've seen before. My nigga sing, he used to sling on the 16th floor. Check it. I look deeper. I see blood up on his sneakers. And his fist gripped the chrome for fifth. So I did.